It's a reminder that hard work, that anything is possible. For the first time ever, five Toronto District School Board students have graduated high school with an average of 100% in their top six grade 12 classes. It's a feat most of us struggle to even fathom, but four of these students were able to attend a ceremony Thursday morning at the TDSB headquarters in North York, honoring them for pulling it off. You really, I think, inspire all of us to believe in the future of this country because it's a good hand. During the ceremony, a surprise visit from Ontario Minister of Education, Stephen Lecce. Each student receiving a certificate recognizing their achievement. And this moment, Kyle Sung, a TDSB top scholar from Richview Collegiate Institute, showing the minister his ability to solve the Rubik's Cube in less than 18 seconds. Wow. He's had fantastic support all the way through from you know, the community, from teachers, from school. I think in all of the experiences that he's had, uh, we, oh, hey, Kyle, come on in. <laughs> We're talking about how proud we are of you. Oh. Kyle telling us part of his scholastic success comes from making an effort to see what's coming next. On my wall at home behind me, I, I constantly have study sheets. I'll print the Ontario curriculum documents, and I'm always looking uh, to learn more in advance. While at the same time, Avanish saying he just likes his schoolwork and learning. I wouldn't say I'm the most hardworking student. I just was really engaged in the classroom and I did what I liked and it just happened to be studying. His parents joking they had to give him the occasional nudge away from the books. So yeah, at times I really have to uh, like peel him off of his uh, desk and uh, had to ask him to do something else. Hope that he carries all these things up ahead. Stay focused. And I said it to each and every one of them, like honestly God, you guys work so hard for this. Getting 100% doesn't come easy. It requires discipline, a uh, sense of focus and a real um, commitment. Meanwhile, the principal of the Etobicoke School of the Arts cheering on graduate Sienna Muller, highlighting joint efforts between students, staff and parents. Uh, Sienna, again, her achievement here is really just representative of just a lot of the hard work, as she said, that a lot of people put, e put in each and every day, her teachers, the staff at the school. Everyone has just been really great at kind of taking me for who I am and helping me be the best version of myself. Her mom saying for students like Sienna, her advice has been to make time for a healthy balance. Enjoy the ride, taking time to enjoy the ride, I think for her has been really important. Just doing stuff that you enjoy and doing stuff with uh, friends and peers. Throw yourself into challenging circumstances. Um, they're going to seem intimidating at first, but it's really not that bad and it'll definitely pay off. So I think just finding something to do outside of school, it helps you just decompress and relax a bit. Advice this mother says applies to parents too. Just enjoy the journey with your child, you know, uh, your, the academic journey. In North York, David Zura, City News.